In this demo, I'm going to show you how to use Microsoft Graph to submit notifications uh, to the Microsoft Teams activity feed. This demo assumes that I've already created the Microsoft Teams app project in the previous demos that I've shown you in this module. Uh, I'm the ones that are have already been set up for uh, SSO with Microsoft Teams um, and to exchange the ID token that we receive in the SSO support for Microsoft Teams um, in exchange for an access token that I can use to call Microsoft Graph. The Microsoft Graph Teamwork endpoint supports sending notifications to users. The user that executes the code that calls the endpoint must consent to one of the team's activity permissions. So in this demo, I'm gonna send the activity notification using the Teamwork endpoint and the permission. So I need to consent to that permission first that enables uh, sending these activity notifications. So I'm gonna do that by first going to our Azure AD app and adding a permission and then finding the Microsoft Graph delegated permission for Teams Activity Send. So I'll go ahead and add that permission. And then to simplify the testing as I've done for the previous demos, I'm gonna go ahead and use my admin privileges to grant consent on behalf of all users. And the last step that I need to do for the permission is to go back to our app go to the environment settings, variable settings, and I'm going to add in an additional permission. And that permission that we're gonna add here is teams activity.send. Activity feed notifications can't be sent from a user to themselves. So for this demo, I'm gonna to need to sign in to Microsoft Teams in another browser session as a different user than the one that I'm currently using. So let's go back to Azure AD and let me find a different user. So if I go to Azure AD and I look for all the users that we have in our organization, I have this other user here named Alex Wilbur. So if I look at Alex Wilbur, we can see that he has an object ID. That is the unique ID of this user. So I'm gonna grab this value and I'm going to save this into a text file for a second because I'm gonna need that in just a minute. Uh, and then let's go ahead and let's log in to another browser session as Alex Wilbur. So I'm gonna create another browser session and a new private window. We're gonna go to teams.microsoft.com and we're going to sign in as Alex. So we'll use his, U, his UPN uh, name to sign in. And then we'll go ahead and paste in his password as well to log in. So now let's also go find the team uh, that uh, we are currently using for our testing, which is 4495. So I'm going to join a team, and there's the 495 team. So I'm going to go ahead and join that team. There we go. So now Alex has, has joined the same team that Megan is in. So now I need to update the Teams app manifest to register support for this activity. So I'm going to go back to VS Code. I'm going to go to our manifest file. Here it is, our manifest file right here. And what I need to do here is I need to add a few things to this. So let's scroll down just after this web application info section, and I'm gonna add in a new section here uh, up for activities. So after making this change, I'm gonna to have to um, reinstall my app so that Microsoft Teams is aware of this activity. Um, I have to do this when I'm testing the app at the end of this exercise, but I have already, for this demo, I've already gone ahead and um, uninstalled the app uh, from our previous demo. So I really just have to install it once again uh, for new. Um, what you can see here from this though, is that I have uh, a, um, the activity type is called a user mention. So it's gonna mention a specific user. That's the description. And then the, the template text is the text that's gonna be displayed uh, in, or the text that's gonna be used for our activity uh, message. Um, these little uh, tokens that you see here, like actor, tab name, team name, and channel name, these are all things that I can replace. The actor is automatically gonna be replaced. I'm not gonna to have to do that myself um, because it's gonna add that or use the uh, entry that is specified by the current user uh, that sent the activity or triggered it. Um, the tab name, team name, and channel name, those are name value pairs I'm gonna be able to pass into my object or into the activity API. So the next step is to go ahead and to update the code to call Microsoft Graph. So I'm gonna go back to our tab that we see over here, and I'm gonna add in another handler, another one of our callback handlers. This one's called send activity method. And you'll notice here, a message, and you'll notice here that what this does 
is that it's going to run whenever I get the uh, whenever the token uh, changes. What it's going to do, um, it's going to call the graph endpoint, specifically the teamwork endpoint, pass into the group ID, the or the which is the current uh, Microsoft Team ID, and then it's going to pass in uh, or use the endpoint send activity notification. So. A lot of this is standard stuff that you've seen before. It's an HP post. Um, we're using an authentication header with the access token that we obtained, and I'm sending JSON. So the body of the request, this is the part that's a little interesting about our activity notification. What it's going to do is it's gonna, it specifies where the entity, like what the topic is for the activity, which is the actual, um, uh, the, the channel itself. The activity type is a user mention. And that is the one that has to be defined in the app manifest um, that we just did a minute ago. So I have preview text saying something happened, and then I've got a recipient that's listed here, and the recipient is going to be the ID of the current user. So what I need to do is go fetch, or the ID of the user who should get the notification. So I'm gonna come over here and find the ID of this user uh, in the tab, and I'm gonna go add in Alex Wilbur's ID and then I have these template parameters. These are the name value pairs. So the template name will be replaced with Word. The team name will be replaced with the actual uh, Microsoft team, Teams team name. And then the channel name is the name of the channel that we're currently in. So what I wanna do is I wanna call this whenever I add a new tab or specifically a Word tab. So let's come back to the code where we're adding a Word tab. This is our Excel. Here is the Word tab. And right here, after submitting it, I'm then going to call await send the activity message. And that's gonna set, that's gonna call the method that we just added. So at this point, I'm ready to test the activity feed notification. So to test this out, I'm gonna come over and make into our console and spin up our application again. This is going to do a complete rebuild of our application, including rebuilding the app manifest. And while that's spinning up, what I'm going to do is let's get the browser ready. So I'm going to leave uh, this notification. I'm going to leave the, this is the Alex Wilbur uh, interface that we're logged into over here. Um, and what you're going to see with Alex, you have Alex listed up here. We're going to see a notification show up in the bottom right hand side. When we come back, we'll see the activity uh, actually show as a, they have a new message. So I'm going to come over here into um, Megan's instance because Megan has permissions to make these changes and I'm going to install the app uh, in this team. So let's go ahead and go to uh, upload a custom app and we'll use our teamwork package that we just created. And now I'll go add the, ch the tab to the channel. We don't really care what the configuration page has in it because we're not gonna use anything. Okay, now we're ready. So we see our uh, MS Graph Teamwork tab over here and we can also see it listed over here for um, Alex, but he's not gonna do anything with that. I mean, he can still see all the all the same stuff, um, but what we wanna see is that when I click on the Word tab, what I want you to take notice of and watch for a notification message to show up over here on the right-hand side and then also we'll come and we'll notice that there it will be a uh, a new entry on his activity uh, tab in the uh, in the in the app rail. So I'm going to select add a word at tab, and there we go. We can see that it shows the notification just popped up that Megan added a word tab, and when I select it, notice here he's got this activity. So if I select the activity message here, it takes me straight to his activity, and you can see that there's the activity that that was just added. Uh, by Megan. So we can see he got his activity message that he was looking for. Yeah. <clears throat> and so with that, you've seen how to use the uh, Microsoft Team, Microsoft Graph Teamwork endpoint to send activity notifications to users. Thank you for watching. I hope you've learned something. Now remember that this video is part of a series of videos on this Microsoft Learning module. This video is also part of a playlist that includes all the videos that are associated with this module so that you can watch them in order. The playlist and all its included videos are associated with a Microsoft Learning module that includes hands-on lab exercises and additional resources. Check the notes for this video 
and the associated playlist for more information and where to find the Microsoft Learning Module.